So how long do you think it'll be to, for us to make this chicken ready? Uh, uh, well, there's a lot of stuff that's got to be done. You got hawks, so you have to guard, you have to guard the top. You got snakes. You can only do so much with snakes, you know? Mm -hmm. They're going to get in. All these, like if you look right in here, look at this. Oh, I know. I tried to step back there and almost broke my net. But like places like here, snakes can climb up this stuff. They'll come through the inside. They'll climb through like right here. So when you've got your eggs chilling in the incubator, not incubators, but the, uh, I don't even know what ne you, I can't remember the, the chicken the beds. term for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's several in there. There's two per hole. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's, that's like 24. This thing will take 24 chickens. Good gravy. You wouldn't think it's being that old. size. I have to make sure it's it's sound for them, you know. It's got a big hole right there. Yeah, I've got to I've got to dig up all this stuff. That looks like a burrow. Yeah, that's why I stepped in, hurt myself. <laughs> that's a that's a animal burrow. Really? Yeah, there's an there was an animal living in there at one point. I just that's what that's, was break my neck right there. That's bigger than it looks. That is uh let me see. Hello. Sorry. Let me see my. I got a size ten shoe, so ten and a half. Good gravy. Yeah, that's a ten and a half boot. It's pretty big. I mean, it could be a. Uh, it could be a gopher turtle. It could be small. If gopher turtles followed us all the way out here, we won't talk well, about. Hey, that's another story for another time. Nobody knows about these gopher turtles, so what they don't know about. <laughs> that up <laughs> <laughs> um anyway yeah i'm gonna get all this hard stuff out of here get this off the ground so the chickens can walk when they're ready to get out here but we'll have to turn it all get it all laid out clean it up we'll have to guard the bottom guard the sides guard the top and i believe that they'll be okay inside i may want to put something up so that a crafty fox doesn't get in through the tops of yeah. the openings. You talking about this that up right here? here? That's what I'm concerned about. Something climbing up there and getting in. If it wants it bad enough, it will find a way. And you don't want to wake up to 20 dead chickens. That would really make me sad. Hawks. We've got hawks everywhere. There's like a group of them flying around top. So we're going to put something over the top? Like over, uh, like over this? you got hawks everywhere. So you have to put over, you have to put up a canopy. And it's usually something a little heavier netted. So like this stuff's big. I mean, a fox can get through this easy. It has to have mesh all the way around to keep the smaller predators that are still, you know, deathly. Yeah. Deadly. It's not deathly. And uh, we'll have to get them out with the mesh. And any recommendations or ideas in the comments, uh, we fully, fully, fully appreciate it because this is our very first chicken coop and, you know, Google only does so much. So, all words of advice and encouragement is appreciated. And look at these hard workers right here. so hard. We need a break <laughs> They're dog sitters. Kira Saren, are you dog sitting? To answer your question though, you ask how long I think it's gonna take. It's a matter of how much time we put into it. Um, we could probably have this done in two weekends. Just sound, not not 100%, but like usable, you mm -hmm. know? And then just as we go, just tighten it up. If we run into any problems, we'll fix the problems. And Learn from that, learn from the comments, learn from other people that I know that have chickens. First question is, what kind of chickens? I wouldn't know. I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing, I believe the name is Rhode Island Red, and another one that's similar. They make a lot of eggs and big eggs. So. I want those fluffy ones, the ones that have like the hair that just, I don't know, they're cool looking. We're talking about eggs. I know. 
Not chickens. You're not raising pet. I'm gonna eat one of these. Many of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but eat your chickens. Don't get fluffy, cute. Get ugly chickens <laughs> that make big, wonderful. Ugly. Chickens. Get the ugly, stupid chickens. And you're ugly like, chicken. no, that was your time. Like, oh, it's so pretty. I don't want that one. Give me that. What's that one? That... Silky, I think is what they're called. Silky chickens. Give me the one with the twisted beak over there. <laughs> Looks like it's <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> Where's Tiny Tim? God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Can I have some more shit right there? If you're wondering what, well, I don't think you should be wondering why we're wearing like rain boots and stuff. There's poison ivy everywhere in here. And it is right now, it is not in season. That's what this is. But it is everywhere. All day. Now, I have not had any issues with poison ivy for as long as I've known about poison ivy and known where it was and, and I, that I got into it I've never really dealt with it uh it still leaves like a little bit of a red a pinkish yeah. tone to my skin when it gets on there but I don't break out like people do some people they'll get in this stuff and they can't get it off of them yeah my grandfather was the same way. We could just roll around in this stuff and it would barely affect our skin. Just get like a, a little bit of an itch. But it's not like this widespread plague that you see people get. Like, I don't get that. But I still don't mess with it. Because I'm like, that one day, 39 did it. It broke. <laughs> the gene that I had broke. And now when I touch it, oh, I'm just going to die. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Oh. Count your blessings for as long as they're there. <laughs> <laughs> Those regal little man. Can we just talk about how regal he looks? Just standing there keeping watch. Look at the mama. Look at mama. He's just standing there keeping watch, watching the road, making sure nobody comes on his property. That's his favorite thing to do. He sits on the sidewalk and he's just staring at the road. He's like, I'm a man. <laughs> Is that right, Benny? And then you've got this one chilling with her phone 24 hours a day. But then you've got this one who's imagining all the things. She's got her whole little make-believe world going on right now. Me too. <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs>